One of the most stunning moments in the Republican presidential campaign came last month. Take a look. In 2010, when I was deployed to Iraq, I had to lie about who I was because I'm a gay soldier. Do you intend to circumvent the progress that's been made for gay and lesbian soldiers in the military? Booing a U.S. serviceman. That soldier, Captain Steve Hill and his husband, Josh Snyder, are fighting for equal rights. Snyder joined gay and lesbian service members today, filing a lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of the federal ban on gay marriage. Joining me now is Joshua Snyder, the husband of Captain Hill and one of the plaintiffs in this case. Thanks for being here, Joshua. Thank you, Robert Charlton. First, I want to go back to the moment at the debate uh, that we just saw. What was your reaction when they booed Steve? Um, we didn't really notice the booing. It was kind of, we were overtaken by the whole moment. Um, we kind of really got more of a reaction to the response from uh, his service members as well as friends. A lot of support. Let me show you what President Obama said about the booing. We don't believe in the kind of smallness that says it's okay for a stage full of political leaders, one of whom could end up being the President of the United States, being silent when an American soldier is booed. You want to be Commander in Chief? You can start by standing up for the men and women who wear the uniform of the United States, even when it's not politically convenient. Now that's how the President responded. What a lot of us were struck by is that you may not have heard the booing and, and your husband, but the candidates on that stage, uh, the Republican candidates heard it, and none of them said anything. That uh, spoke volumes to us in their silence. It would have been nice to get some support, but uh, you know what? We got the question out there and we got the response from the candidates. Now, getting the question out there, you were part of a lawsuit filed today. A lot of people don't understand that even with don't ask, don't tell, things are not, that are not covered is what you're trying to deal with in this lawsuit. Let me show this uh, uh, screen to the American public. Benefits that are not provided to same-sex military couples. And we must remember now, these are people that are in the service in many dangerous places around the country, but their surviving spouse does not get benefits. Burial rights at national cemeteries, health benefits, morale and welfare programs, access to military bases. So most people did not know that none of this is protected just with don't ask, don't tell. Correct. Your lawsuit is to make sure that you get simple, basic things like I've just outlined, spouse benefits, rights to national cemeteries. Am I right? You just want to be treated like any other human couple that put themselves in danger's way for the country. Exactly. Stephen's over there doing the same thing as any other soldier, and uh, we are legally married and we just want the same rights. So if you're legally married, whatever people's views are or are not, you're legally married, you're saying then treat me like I'm legally married, don't say I'm legally married, but then take away all of the rights that I would have that any other married couple would have for someone that's putting their life on the line for this country. Exactly. Well. Josh Snyder, thank you so much for being here tonight, and thank you for your reaction to uh, what happened. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Thank uh, you. Hey.